All right, guys, so here's my monologue place, my car. Um, anyway, so this video I don't have much of an introduction for. Okay, so it took place right before I went up to Massachusetts to fish for cod with my friend Eric. I always wanted to try to get Atlantic cod from the kayak, um, so I was making a special trip up for that. Um, on the way, I messaged uh, my friend Sam. I said, anything going on by you? He invited me out to come fishing with him, which was great. It was a windy day, conditions weren't great. Um, but still, we had plenty of keeper tog. I released my fish for the day. Um, I was planning on doing several catch and cooks up north afterwards. But uh, some pretty good action. Um, blackfish or tow tog uh, are popular fish here in this northeast region, probably from like Virginia through Rhode Island, I'd say. I have high commercial value. Um, they live in the rocks, taste great, um, hard fighting fish, difficult to catch at times. Um, you basically fish with jig heads or bottom fish rigs with crabs. They eat crabs. Fun fish, so that's that video. Other than that, the other thing I want to qu quickly go over, but uh, what I'm looking to do is I'm going to sublease my place out in Brooklyn. Uh, I live near Brooklyn College for the month of January, and I'm trying to travel down south a little bit, do some fishing, catching cooks, all that fun stuff, and kind of vlog the way down there. Uh, a couple places I'm thinking, some people mentioned to me, just tip the peak, I should still give it a try, even if the striper fishing hasn't been as good as it used to. South Carolina, North Carolina for a few days, and a majority of people are pointing me to the direction of Fort Myers slash Everglades area. And the way I'm probably going to structure this trip is I might Airbnb it for a few days, maybe crash at some people's houses if they, you know, if they want to put up with me. Uh, but uh, airbnb -ing, um, seems like it's a good idea if I can keep my expenses back home covered. Um, I just got to square away stuff with my other business, and that leads to next year. Who knows? Um, I'm not getting delusions of grandeur. I'm just kind of winging it. I don't know what this platform is. I, I, I trust YouTube will always be around, and it's the second largest search engine in the world. And it's got its own weird things going on with it. Um, algorithms change. I don't have 100% faith in this platform. I'm always a little bit of skeptical and try to keep it my what I do as diverse as possible so I don't want to go full on investment into YouTube necessarily. You know, it's, there's a lot of competition on this platform for, for views. There's only so many people. And now it's all coming together. How come some videos don't get views? Because there's only so many people to watch. Anyway, uh, ranting. I could just rant forever. Uh, enjoy this video. Hopefully it's fun. Um, fishing for a tow tug from the kayaks and then we're going cod fishing from there. So. Check it out. So today I am fishing for blackfish along these rocks here. It was very rough an hour ago, and I was actually headed in because it was so rough. And then like, you know, the ocean's magic trick. They're real nice out and beautiful and fishable. So I'm gonna get up on this corner here where there's a little bit of current. Water's kind of murky. Did bring an anchor. There's a brake rotor. That's a good hit finally. No, oh, toe tug. It's the rare blue toe tug. Mm. Out of the rocks, man. Not cool. How many times have you been caught this weekend? All right. Yeah, so that's why the Albi bait's all up in here. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Had him. Now I want to come out the opposite direction at least. I got a shot. That way I don't have a shot, I know that. Oh, he, he came out, I felt him. He's doing something, I feel. Did he swim out? Oh my god, I think he did. Alright, let me, let me try to come in from that direction once and then I'm done. I'm going to break him off. This ain't worth it. Dude, that would be so sick to get on that thing though. It's different. In pilings, you get a, you get a, you don't even have a shot. Rocks, it's like, he's in there. I want to get him out so bad. I got, the, I thought they got the King Max. Yeah, that's it. 
That one's better. Son, get up here. I got a brake rotor on my back today. <laughs> nah, that's why I'm not I'm not dropping for that reason. I just I just picked oh, I said it too soon. <laughs> I'm gonna do a good deed and put my first keeper back. My first decent one at least. You ever get that meat up here that when you fillet the tog it's got all those specks in it? Yeah. You got that up here? Not often, I have yeah, not often, I've gotten it too. Supposedly they're eating mussels when they get that. There is fish here. Toe tug. I, I liked it until right now. <laughs> oh, not a bad one. No, I like them. Yeah, I really do actually. What's that? I am liking them, yes. Man, these, con these Connecticut Tog fight hard, man. It's like a 16-incher, and I was like, <laughs> man, clean water must do, do them wonders. <laughs> yeah, I like these shields. I do. For 100 bucks, they're great. I, I used to fish with Stratix a lot, personally, and I was like... I yeah, the older generator. I think it was C3, C4, something like that. Yeah, Black Tip, he is like the original, really good. Yeah. Like, it's really good quality stuff, yeah. Like toss, we're like, damn, that looks fun. <laughs> uh oh, I see birds. Hold on, hold on, don't do anything yet. No, no, no. <laughs> they circled the bird like three of them two times. I was like, oh, I know it. Yeah, it's going down out here. Just fixing my rotor. Behind me though, those birds are looking pretty good. Oh, there you go. This might be a bluefish. I don't know. I, I don't got that tail thing going really. This ain't an albino. I really don't think it is. They do. Behind you. Right next to me. Jesus. 
two of these, I'm gonna be done, man. Damn. Damn. Damn, this fish is ridiculous. Jeez, this thing is fat as hell. And I got my epoxy jig back. Damn, girth. Holy cow. See ya, man. Jesus Christ. It's like a 33 inch bluefish. It's like 15 pounds. Well, things changed quickly again. So, I don't know how much time we got left out here. Probably not much. So one Albie do that darting thing under me, you know? Oh, you did want to see one? Yeah. Well, I know it's like immediately I had, the minute I decided to go out there, it got real shitty. <laughs> as soon as I decided to say, okay, there's a tog machine right here. Who needs a stringer? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Making clam chowder later. <laughs> 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 